and what concrete steps are you and your bureaus taking to prepare for our trusted allies or correcting China's attempts to so anti- and, and Ambassador Ann Wagner. I uh, thank the chairman uh, and the undersecretary for her time and service. China represents an urgent threat to the United States and its partners. We have an important advantage, however, a range of partnerships and alliances that are unshakable and battle-tested, including AUKUS, a critical security partnership between the U.S., Australia, and the U.K. The fact that the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, finds AUKUS so terrifying is a clear sign that the partnership is the right path forward for the United States as we seek to defend Indo-Pacific partners from China's predatory and bullying influence. But we need to devote real time and energy to address remaining pitfalls and ensure AUKUS's success, whether by cutting red tape for our trusted allies or correcting China's attempts to sow anti-AUKUS propaganda while it massively expands uh, its own nuclear stockpile. Under Secretary Jenkins, the 2024 NDAA instructed the Secretary of State to create streamlined procedures um, and anticipatory release policy for the transfer of advanced weapons technologies like submarines and hypersonic cyber capabilities, artificial intelligence and undersea capabilities to Australia, the UK and Canada. When do you anticipate the release of that policy and what concrete steps are you and your bureaus taking to prepare those policies? Uh, thank you. And once again, it's an opportunity for me to talk about AUKUS, which I, I agree with, with everyone here about the importance of that. Um, and as I had mentioned uh, earlier, we are working around the clock with both the UK and Australia to make sure that we have what we need and all three countries have what they need so that we can move and certify um, um, as required on the NDAA. Um, our experts are meeting on a regular basis. We just met uh, last week. Uh, all three uh, group, uh, countries met on experts. I'm meeting with my colleagues on a regular basis. We have questions that are being answered. Um, Excuse me, uh, timeline-wise, are you, are you on track here? Uh, when do you anticipate the release? It's hard to anticipate the release right now because we are actually working uh, to get these things. There's certain things that have to happen, but they're happening at a rapid pace. Okay, well, uh, I, I can so. say, for example, uh, as I said earlier, the UK just passed a, uh, legislation. Uh, the same thing with Australia. They have to go through processes within their own countries for this to happen. So I can say we're working as fast as we can, but there are steps that have to happen in all three of our countries. Uh, China has disseminated propaganda across the Indo-Pacific, falsely claiming that AUKUS undermines non-proliferation -prolifer goals. And I'd like to note the astounding hypocrisy of these claims as China itself embarks on an unprecedented nuclear buildup. Under Secretary Jenkins, is the department effectively countering Chinese misinformation surrounding AUKUS, like the misinformation surrounding the transfer of conventionally armed nuclear capable submarines? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. We are regularly countering disinformation. Uh, we see it on a regular basis, as was mentioned. Uh, China often raises AUKUS at the IAEA in the general, mm -hmm. in the uh, Board of Governors. We have been very successful, uh, constantly pushing back to the point that they've actually started looking at some other issues in addition. So we have been working on this. We understand the Chinese buildup of nuclear weapons, and we continue to, to Where do you back. think that China's misinformation campaign uh, against AUKUS gained the most traction? And specifically, are we working with regional partners to correct the record? Yes, um, I think originally it was starting for some countries to gain traction. I think that that has been reversed because a lot of what was being claimed, countries are understanding is not true, particularly what they were saying about submarines, that they were saying that submarines were, were mm -hmm. nuclear weapons when they're not. They're conventional weapons submarines, and people are seeing that. We're working very closely with the IEA. DG Grossi is making reports, talking about the great relationship we have with them. So I think it's that active work that we're doing is helping. In my limited time, and you may have to answer for the record, China is expected to increase its nuclear arsenal many times over by mm -hmm. 2030. 
Right. Uh, Undersecretary Jenkins, do you think China's unprecedented buildup of nuclear weapons requires a new approach to how we control the trade of nuclear material, considering the civil military fusion that China relies in, on for their military modernization? And if so, do you also believe that we need to ensure that the West is not supplying Russia and China with nuclear technology and material that can contribute to the expansion of our adversaries' nuclear arsenals? I would ask you to uh, reply for the record on this question. I have my time has expired, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. Thank you very much, Congresswoman Ann Wagner of Missouri. Meeting with my colleagues on a regular basis. We have questions that are being answered. Uh, a a AUKUS propaganda while it massively expands. Uh, in and what concrete steps are you and your bureaus taking to prepare both the UK and Australia to make sure that? We have what we need, and all three countries have it. From China's predatory and bullying influence. But, um, and as I had mentioned uh, earlier, we are working around the clock with both cyber capabilities, artificial intelligence, and undersea capabilities to Australia. For me to talk about AUKUS, which I, I agree with, with everyone here about the importance of that. For our trusted allies, or correcting China's attempts to so anti unshakable and battle-tested, including AUKUS. Um, Excuse me, uh, timeline-wise, are you, are you on track here? Uh, when do you anticipate the release? Or NDAA instructed the Secretary of State to create streamlined procedures and ensure AUKUS's success, whether by cutting red tape. Uh, last week, uh, all three uh, uh, countries met on experts. I those policies. Uh, thank you. And once again, it's an opportunity. And Ambassador Ann Wagner. I uh, thank the chairman 